The knife I'd like to talk to you about today is the SR1. This is my favorite folding knife for survival, escape, or combat where resupply is iffy or non-existent. If you were going to drop me off in the world with no warning anywhere in the world and said the only folding knife I could take, I would take the SR1. And here's the reason why. The blade, it's 1 and 1 16th inch wide, so it's a fairly wide blade. It's got that sharp reinforced tanto point. The main bevel is flat ground, as is the secondary bevel. And the reason we flat grind it is that a little bit more steel here to keep it from bending and chipping under really heavy abuse. When we hollow grind it, you can sometimes get a little deeper cut, but you'll sacrifice a lot of strength. And so I, ch I chose the flat grind for the SR1. It's got OD green handle slabs with stainless steel liners and a G10 backspacer. And it's got a stainless steel pocket clip that's ambidextrous so you can switch it back and forth. It's got a great guard here in the front that stops your hand from moving forward in the forward grip or in the reverse grip. It's just got a positive lock for your hand. And it's nice that you can switch this to edge in or edge out. And the grip remains very, very comfortable. This is important when you have to use the knife under extended periods of time. I like also the back of it. It's got this little return right here and your little finger catches there and that keeps the knife from being pulled out of your hand by centrifugal force when you're cutting really hard or slashing really hard. If you miss and, or even make contact, contact, there's a lot of impact or you miss and there's a lot of centrifugal force that wants to jerk that out and that catches your little finger and keeps it from being pulled out of your hand. You can also palm load it really easily and gain another three inches in reach just like that. I'll just open my hand up I put that finger there, that cap's there, and I've got a pretty good lock on that knife. And I gain another two and a half to three inches of reach. So now I've got a seven inch long knife instead of a four inch knife. So that's really important to me. It has a lanyard hole. So if you want to, you can put a lanyard on it. And the steel is S35EN, American powdered steel at RC60. And it's not brittle at RC60. We do an awesome job heat treating these things. And they're really a tough knife. So you, there you have it, an SR1. I think at $275 suggested retail, it's a tremendous value for your money and it will beat all the competition hands down.